If you're looking for more information about the Pixie Smart Home System, then you're in the right place. Okay, let's talk Pixie. These monthly updates are made for electricians, renovators and homeowners, and are the best five minutes you can spend to make sure that you don't miss a thing when it comes to Pixie. So today we're going to cover some new products. We're going to look at some Pixie products that are coming end of life and stay to the end where we'll open the kimono a little bit on some of the new developments coming for Pixie. So unfortunately it's come time to retire two trustworthy products. First of all, the Generation 2 Switch, the SWL350BT. It's been around for many years now, but it's just come to a point where we can't get the components for it anymore and we can't make it. Of course, you can always use the Generation 3 Pixie Smart Switch, the SWL 600 BTAM. We're also retiring the ESS 105 BT or the Pixie Smart Plug. So it's simply end of life and we're not continuing to make it once we're out of stock. The good news is, of course, that the Pixie Smart PowerPoint, the SPO23 BTAM, has had a significant price reduction around about 30%. Check out the show notes and you'll see all of the uh, details there about the new products and the new part numbers. So we've just launched our new sensors. We have two, we have an indoor and an outdoor. The indoor sensor is 360 degree PIR, surface mount or flush mount. And the outdoor sensor is an IP66 surface mount or wall mount. So these are mains powered sensors, they're not battery powered sensors and they're Pixie Master devices, meaning they have a relay inside them that's actually controlling the load. Just look at the show notes, you'll find the specifications on each of these devices. They are a little bit different for the indoor versus the outdoor. As Pixie Master devices, you can of course control them like you can any other Pixie Master device, meaning you've got direct control, you can create scenes with them, and of course you can schedule them as devices or even scenes if you're using Pixie Plus. So the outdoor sensor comes in a familiar body shape. It's a wall mount device and it's IP66. Now these are ideal for obviously the front of the house, the rear of the house, inside garages, that kind of environment where you need an IP rated outdoor sensor. And there's four operating modes. Manual mode, where the sensor is operating as you'd expect a sensor to operate. There's override on, where we actually override the light or the load that's being controlled to the on state. There's override off, where you turn the light off and disable the sensor. And of course, with the outdoor sensor, you then have the sunset switch mode or the PE mode, which you can activate. The indoor sensor is 360 degree PIR. And in the box, it comes with the clips for a flush mount and the little mounting block for a surface mount installation as well. So the indoor sensor is a 72 mil cutout, PIR 360 degree. It's got a relay on board, it's a master device. This is really ideal for bathrooms and when people are installing those LED strips under their vanity and every time they walk into the bathroom they want these to uh, turn on and turn off after the timeout that's been set. So a really simple way to do that now with Pixie without any of the complexity of having to integrate a third party sensor. Finally, when installing one of these products, whether it's the indoor PIR sensor or the outdoor IP66 PIR sensor, you'll find that it's a great new configuration wizard that we've introduced into the Pixie Plus app that takes you through step-by-step step being able to set these up. Let's just talk about pairing and pairing specifically these sensors to a multifunction switch on the wall. Now it could be an SMF BTAS, the powered multifunction, or if you're using the remote control, the SMRM BTAS, functionality is the same when you pair them to a sensor, whether it's an indoor sensor or an outdoor sensor. Essentially, as soon as you pair it, there's pre-configured operation that's available for you. The sensors have just been released. It's July 2023 and they're available now. now if you've been using Pixie for a while and you've been using Pixie Plus app specifically, you've probably noticed that we've updated the app, but you may not really be aware of exactly what some of those features are and they're all around usability. The number one would be the favorites page or the home page as it used to be called. Now on the favorites page, it's possible to essentially have as many favorites as you like, whether it's a device, a group or a scene. And you can simply mark them from any device or for any group or from any scene by pressing and holding the device, the group or the scene. And on that sub menu, you can then just press the little star and that's automatically added to your favorites page or your home page. You can also then edit that and you can reorganize those favorites so that they suit you best how you're going to use those. One of the other new features is in particular on the devices page. You can actually operate them from that page. Now there's like a little bar that kind of indicates the status of the device where you can press it and turn it on and off with a quick short tap. But on dimmable devices, you can now press and hold and dim up and down. So it's just removing some of those extra steps and providing some additional functionality. This is especially useful in the rooms area where it lists all the devices in a particular room. Say your living room, you might have multiple dimmed sources, for example. Now 
now instead of having to jump into each of those to dim it, you could actually just dim it from that list of devices in the room and then jump back out to the home page and do what you need to do from there. iPad users will appreciate this in particular, but of course it's available on all devices, is the ability to zoom in and zoom out of devices. And essentially it means that you can fit more or less devices on a single view before you have to scroll. That's it for this month's update. If you'd like to get more of these in the future, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell so you get a notification, and we'll see you next time.